Jesus. Who is he? He is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And without him, you and I would be lost forever. He got on a colt and on a, I mean, an ass and on a colt. And I don't know how that exactly happens. He kind of laid out over to both of them. Put his feet up. <laughs> I don't know how you get on both, but he rode both of them. Maybe the colt was next to the mother. He rode the mom in there. But uh, when he came into the city, he was making a triumphal entrance, a triumphant approach to the city, proclaiming that he is just and that he is bringing salvation with him. And nobody could have imagined what that meant. Nobody could have imagined that Jesus was going to be handed over, go through six mock trials from Pilate to Herod to Pilate to back to Herod. No one could have imagined that he would be beaten, that he would be hung on a cross. No one could have imagined it. Not from this day. No one could have imagined that all these people were going to be, in the next few days, one week later, screaming, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. We have no king but Caesar. And just one week, one week. And isn't it true that the population, large numbers of people, um, are easy to sway their popularity from one to the other. So Jesus came down and, and had salvation with him. And we are just so thankful that he made this decision, one, to come here, to be born of a virgin, and to be, be made man. And you remember the angel said, unto us a, a son is born, unto us a child is given. And that this is the seed of David. And when Jesus came down into the city, he was proclaiming that this city belonged to him, though he would not actually occupy the seat of David for some 2,000 plus years later, which we are still waiting for now. So praise God for, for uh, Palm Sunday. It's a, great, it's a great piece of history that, was, that is so important to us because we are the cult we are that wild, kind of a wild, spirited, the Gentile nations that war and fight and live in bars and, and bars and concerts and drugs and alcohol. It's the crazy wildness of it all. And Jesus came into the city to buy all of us back for himself. So let's pray this morning. Yes, Lord, we, we proclaim that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. That without you, we can do nothing. Like you said, that no one comes to the Father but by you. That you are the resurrection and the life. Lord, may we keep you in the center of our lives. The very center of our focus would be on you like it was in Jerusalem that day, though it was passing. But Lord, we, like the disciples after the fact, we understand what you did. We understand why you did what you did. Because you are the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And you were like a lamb, just presenting yourself to the slaughter. You were like a lamb without spot. So we thank you, Lord, for this morning. We thank you for the opportunity to carry this message into this lost world. Because, Lord, if people do not see that you are the Christ, that you are the Son of God, that your blood was not the blood of a man, your words were not just the words of a prophet, Lord, but you are actually a high priest to bring your own blood into the very holy of holies of God. So, Lord, bless us as we go. Bless this day. May we take this day to reflect on your beauty. A king who was humble enough to ride an ass into the city. A king who was humble enough to serve every one of his people, even to the death of the cross. Bless our families. This week, especially, we pray for the service this afternoon. 
11 o'clock service, Pastor Chanel and the adults up here. We pray for the teenagers, for the young kids. We thank you for bringing us together. Now send us out, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Okay, let's stand up.